hello there, my darlings. Happy birthday to you all. And welcome to a speed build. Now, I know I said this was going to be out on Friday, but I changed my mind. This video was just a little bit more finished than the, the start at home that I'm going to be bringing out tomorrow instead. So I decided I'm bringing this out today. And that's the storyline. What a wonderful storyline. But hello, welcome. This is an Art Deco hotel. A little boutique hotel. It's got three lovely swish rooms for your Sims to pretend to stay in because hotels aren't a thing in The Sims 4. Um, ignore where I am at the minute. I, I started on building it on this lot in Brindleton Bay. But I ended up changing it over to um, Tartosa because I, for one, I wanted a bigger lot. And it just wasn't fitting the vibe of it. I wanted this Art Deco Hotel to be by the sea, um, on a street level kind of feeling. And it just wasn't vibing well here. Uh, so I decided to move it and I decided on making the build a lot bigger. Now, I was playing around with curved walls. This is one of the first builds. In fact, I think it's one of the first builds I've like published up onto YouTube by, use, by using some curved walls. Curved walls are um, shit. As far as I'm concerned in Sims 4, I can't put it any other way. They don't work properly. They're horrid to work with. Um, and I did not have fun playing around with them. But I still really enjoyed how this build came together at the end. <laughs> that is the storyline. For goodness sake, why why like implement something into the game if it doesn't work properly? Well, saying that, they tend to go through and sort of release packs that don't work properly. So why not curved walls too, you know? But anyway... Lots of things do change as I, I play around with the shape of this build. I had a vision in my head. I found a uh, uh, picture on Pinterest of this Art Deco building. I don't know where it was. I think it might have been in Miami. Uh, another reason why I wanted to move it over into Tartosa as well. Because I wanted to get some palm trees and stuff out the front. And the palm trees along in Bridgeton Bay just wouldn't work for me, love. So I decided on moving it over into Tartosa, but we don't do that until a bit later on. Lot, as I said, lots of things changed. The whole shape of this back bit here, I'm putting curved walls on the back of, of this build as well. That changes, it's just what I wasn't vibing with that. I think I also reduced the size of it. You can see I'm putting platforms at the top here because I didn't want to go all the way uh, up to the top in this build here, but I actually end up doing that. I end up going all the way up. So there are, let me go through what we've got going on. Hotel, as I said, it's a boutique hotel, three rooms. One of them is a penthouse suite. So it's very more open planned, the penthouse suite with shorter ceilings, but a higher view because it's right on the top. Uh, and I'd, I'd keep the colors and the color, the color palette very similar throughout the whole build. But I do end up um, mixing them up a little bit in each room. One of the rooms I go for a very stark kind of like art deco vibey white and then in one of them i bring in some gold accents and then with the penthouse suite i go a little bit for more of a darker aesthetics with blacks and gold so it's very similar rooms similar shapes as well but i end up just changing around a few things just to you know just make it a little bit better um but yeah as i said lots of fun playing around with this build i Got to a point with it though where I was just like, I can't add any more. So I decided on stopping um, and I did. Stop, I did. Uh, but yeah, I love it. I would love some hotels in The Sims 4. I would love, I mean, it, it would be such a good game to add hotels in, you know, maybe with like a couple of destination worlds here and there. But even if we could just like have hotels in the pre-existing worlds that we've got, like I'd be more than happy with that too. Uh, but we don't have that. We don't have that. And I'm very shocked. I thought Tartosa, I thought my wedding stories was going to be the hotel pack. I thought that was going to come with the game. Um, but instead, we've just got a broken game. Instead, didn't we, darlings? We've got a, we, we got a broken pack. That still doesn't work for me. I've tried weddings and um, they're, yeah, they're, they're naff as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> people, was, I've had a couple of people ask me, like, do you mind, like, speaking out? Are you not scared that EA are going to get rid of your um ea creator status if you're like kind of constantly bitching about the game <laughs> and i was like well no that's my kind of job isn't it really i'm going to be truthful if i don't like something and i'm going to call them out on it I, I think that is what being part of the ea creators is if you don't like something then call them out on it and that's what i tend to do that is what i tend to do so and um, i mean even if they do drop me up after would i care not really 
to be completely and honestly truthful, I don't think I would care, to be honest, but especially if they dropped me for being truthful about a game that's broken. You know, that's just me. Anyway, waffling on. Little bit of detail at the front here. This does change slightly, this little bit. Reasons being, once you like put down the uh, floor levels to this, these like white things were kind of sticking up in the air. So I had to like rectify things. Uh, and I also ended up putting windows up on this point as well from the penthouse suite up where those little half wall bits are. I put in two windows up there and it just, it just brought it all together, loves. It really did. And I was very, very, very much for it. Very much for it. Very much for us indeed. But uh, yeah, anyway, happy Friday. What are you all getting up to the weekend? You know I love to be nosy. I like to know what you all get up to over weekend. I am going up to my friend's farm um, tomorrow for a little night out camping. And then I'm chilling out. I've been having so much things on at the weekends, like meeting people and seeing my family and stuff. I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to see a single soul apart from Tom that weekend. So that is what I'm going to be doing uh, on the Saturday and Sunday. And I'm looking forward to it. I need to give my house a little spring clean. You know, when things have just started to slip slightly. Slip for me is like, you know, a few days of not hoovering. <laughs> I'm a Virgo. What can I say? Um, but yeah, I want to get on top of that. So that is what my exciting weekend plans are going to be. Let me know yours down below. You know, as I said, I like to be nosy. Also, I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight at 7pm at BST. UK time uh, and we are going to be building in The Sims and guess what we're going to be building? We're going to be building a high school. We're going to be building a 64 by 64 very mid-century inspired high school. So if you do want to come and join us, you know where to find me. It's always down below um, Then you can come along. It's going to be probably a few weeks of that build going on. I'm not going to get up any video or anything from it. It's just going to be a primarily Twitch um, build, but I will get it up on the gallery for you guys. And you can always watch those streams back as well over on my Twitch channel. If you just go into the videos tab, you can watch those streams back um, if you can't make it live. So you can always see me building in yeah, real time. But I think this is going to be a very several weeks of um, building going on with that high school. So yeah, if you want to join me, you know where to find me. So big old balcony on the back here. This does change a little bit. I do put balconies from each room. Um, you can go see me going in and adding in pillars and stuff now. I do balconies in each room. It's just the uh, penthouse one. It's a bit more of a bigger balcony. And I end up putting a hot tub out on that balcony. But there's some... Um, what do I put out there? I put some... Um, I put some bifold doors swinging out there. Because the views from the lot that I picked in Tartos are amazing. It looks right out at to sea. And I do a dining room table and chairs out there. I was going to put sun lounges out there, but I decided not to just because there were so many sun lounges that I actually put around the pool area that you'll see a bit further into the video once we actually move um, the build over to where it's going to be. Uh, I tried a few places. I even tried Windenburg, like on the island lot. I tried there, seeing what it would look like. And it just wasn't the vibe. So that was when I was like, right, off we go to Tartosa, loves. And that is what we bloody did indeed. Really, really did. I, I, I did have fun building this, but I got to a point where I was, where I was, as I said, I was just like, I'm done now. I'm absolutely done. And I was done. <laughs> the end. What a lovely story that was. Um, but yeah, more of these details. I've been using these so much for like architectural detail. The little curtain rod things that came with, um, why do I always forget the bloody name of it? I always go to say Oasis and it's not that. The Desert Lux Pack. I always go and call, try and call it the Oasis Lux Pack. But they just added a lot of detail on. Um, a little bit more dimension. I mean, the dimension came from this wallpaper that I used as well, which was from a pack that I don't know. Um, <laughs> I think it might be university. Could be wrong. But I want a little bit more of a 3D element on the actual build itself, just to give me that Art Deco vibe. The clean lines and the curves. And I do like Art Deco. It's maybe a little bit overstyled for me. Architecture-wise, though, I do like Art Deco buildings. Um, I really do like them. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous specimen of an architectural detail is an Art Deco building. <laughs> no idea what I've gone on about, but that is me. That is me and my waffles, and you should know that by now if you're an if you're a, if you're a long time watcher. I mean, there we go. Anyway, here we are. We're in Tartosa now. So I had a lot of a big, I, well, I had a much bigger space to play with here. This is a 50 by 40 lot. So we do a huge 
um, outdoor area with dining tables, an outdoor kitchen, a bar, outdoor bar, um, a car park, a big swimming pool area, loads of sun lounges here and there. Just a really nice vibe. I could imagine this hotel being in somewhere in Spain as well. So that was kind of in the back of my head. I remember seeing quite a bit of Art Deco, um, Art Deco architecture, but it was also kind of Adobe kind of style as well um, in Spain. So I did kind of like, um, yeah, get inspiration from that here. What what a lovely sentence. Um, so but I I was looking at this build. The more I looked at it, you'll see me, you might see me go and change the window colors. I can't remember if I did. I was looking at the build. I was like, oh, it's very white, very white and very stark. So I end up pumping in a little bit of color using the green windows from the high school pack. And yeah, I thought it came together rather swimmingly and Um, Did enjoy the final outcome anyway. And that is always the thing if you like you get to the outcome, the final outcome. You're like, do you like this? I do. And I, I really did. I reckon I could have done a little bit better with the interiors. I still like the interiors. But because this is custom content free, I was kind of limited with what we actually had in game um, to make it look like a hotel room. But I still, I would, I would stay here. And that is the win, isn't it, to be honest? Absolute win indeed. Love these palm trees. Well, those palm trees that I've been, I was putting in these planters here. They're from my wedding stories, but I think they're in the debug. So you have to go into the debug to get them. It always winds me up that they can always put all of these marvellous trees into the debug menus. I think it's kind of annoying. I would like to see, because I can't even remember the last time we ever got any like new flowers and trees. I really cannot remember the last time. Um, kind of fuming about it. I mean, we did get a tree house, but that, that tree doesn't count. Um, the end. <laughs> now, car park. Because it's a boutique hotel with three rooms, I thought four car parking spaces would be enough. So that's what I did. I did four car parking spaces. A little entrance thing there as well. And yeah, I think it came together rather nicely. And I used these lovely uh, uh, street lamps. They don't really light up too much uh, when you go into gameplay, but they do have like an like a lovely glow from them. So it does really like give it a bit of effect. Why am I doing that clip twice? What what's that about? No idea. But there you go. Um, you saw me put them down twice. I must have liked them that much, you know. Uh, <laughs> and I do use these lovely little saucer lights as well to show you where the main entrance is. Now, this is where I built in the outdoor kitchen. So I really wanted this out indoor outdoor vibe coming through with this kitchen area. So, um, you can imagine like barbecues and stuff here, but even. You could, you could use this lot as a restaurant as well. It's got everything that your uh, sim would need to have a restaurant, the host station, the waiter station. So if you're kind of stuck on how to use the hotel, you could make this into a restaurant, a fully working restaurant, all outdoor seating. Though there isn't any indoor seating. So Tartosa is probably going to be the best place for this lot. Um, but yeah, we can't do anything because we haven't got hotels. And I'm going to keep saying that. I reckon we will. I've got a funny feeling we'll get a hotel. I reckon a hotel, maybe not expansion. I mean, if it comes with new worlds, I would, I could see it being an, ex it being an expansion, but I think maybe a game pack, a bit like how Dine Out was, where we don't get a new world, but we've got all of the gameplay there to have a hotel, you know? I mean, Dine Out still doesn't work for me. I know there is a, a mod people were telling me about that it actually fixes Dine Out. So I do need to give that a little go, actually, because I love building restaurants. I think that's what I want to do for my next build is a nice restaurant build somewhere. So I'm really enjoying doing uh, speed builds at the minute as well. So I might even bring another speed build out next week and do a nice little restaurant build. I'm in my speed build era at the minute. There's been three. Well, yeah, there's been three, three, three weeks I've, I've bought out a speed build, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, including last week, which is one of my favourites, that rec centre. Um, I appreciate you all, all of your wonderful comments on that, because that was definitely one of my favourite builds I've done in a very long time. Um, and definitely my favourite community lot that I've ever done. So yeah, appreciate you. Thank you, my loves. Very much do. So this is me bringing up the platform. This is where the main, I wanted to rate, elevate this area, keep the restaurant area down on ground level, just so it kind of like sort of has a nice privacy sort of vibe to it. 
and then have the bar area plus all the sun lounger moments looking out to sea and the swimming pool as well on the top on this area so that is what i did and i think it came together rather deliciously indeed but again as always leave me some lovely comments down below and let me know um because i always appreciate your feedback my lovely lovely darling friends i really do What's coming next week on the channel, you may ask? Well, I definitely want to do another cha challenge video. We haven't done a challenge video in a very long time. So I'm going to do another challenge next week for sure. Uh, as I said, I do want a speed build coming out. I do want a speed build coming through. And I have a rather interesting family. Would I say family? Yeah, I'm going to say family. A rather interesting family coming into Let's Build the World as well next week. I've made all the characters and their dynamics and what what they do um so that is coming next week so be on the looks out for that my darling darling friends so down into the outdoor restaurant area i use these parasols i cannot remember i think they're from snowy escape those parasols i use them and then i'll just put them in like the table themselves i can't remember for the life of me where those um tables are from i have no idea i can't remember but I just thought it fit in with the shape of the parasol like underneath and stuff like the legs underneath of it kind of matched in really well with it so that's why i went ahead and did them and very much for and date yes i am <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say through this very much for that very much for that and date love this grass as well this grass is from i think it's from island living could be wrong could be from jungle adventure i can't quite remember but it comes in little squares it's got like the softer sort of side curved pieces as well but i end up sizing them up um and putting them in that planter and it just adds a little shock of green which is what i really want you can imagine uh, there being sprinklers and stuff in there do you know what i mean those holiday um at those hotels when you're on holiday when they've got like loads of greenery everywhere and they've always got the sprinklers in the um flower beds don't know why i'm talking about that but i am um, over to the pool area over, over to the pool area loved the use of that uh tile in the pool i thought it was really cool i cannot remember where that tile came from but i thought it looked really cool underneath the water it kind of added in that geometric art deco vibe that i really wanted to kind of pop across here i would imagine this hotel is opt like been updated over the years but it's still very much art deco the inspiration in there is art deco um and yeah love it sun lounges i end up using the same parasols i think yeah i do the same parasols as the restaurant and i put the um parasols in between each of the sun lounges looking out to sea i mean i even went down at sim level and the view from those sun lounges would just be amazing i need to go on holiday i need a holiday i need a holiday desperately within the next few weeks i will be taking a week off of videos just so i can chill out and reset um, and I am going to be going away sometime in the summer as well. But yeah, within the next couple, maybe three weeks, I'm going to be taking a week off from videos and streams um, just so I can reset myself. And yeah, just so I don't burn out. Burnout is a real thing. I experienced it. Was it last year or was it the year before? I think it might have been last year. Um, I burnt myself out really badly with content. Like I was just getting so much out and I was so busy every day. that I just burnt myself out. So I'm being very sensible and... Um, Yes, that's, so that shall be happening. But I, I will keep you updated on when I will be taking a week off. So just, yeah, just wanted to get that out there. Just wanted to get that out there. This is the outdoor kitchen, as I said, using the base game. Kind of, I always think this is a very commercial kitchen. Do you know what I mean? It's that uh, kind of very stainless steel, easy to clean kind of kitchen. And I think it just looks good in a kitchen that's either on the community lot or it's a commercial one. Um, and I like the vibe of it in here. It's very inside, outside vibes, but it's still very open. So I used, you saw me use those kind of, um, I don't know what they're called, but they're almost like the brick windows. So you can kind of see through, but it still adds a bit of privacy for the kitchen stuff that may or may not be in here. And I fully load it as well with coffee machines, ice cream maker, in case some of the kids are on the pool wanting an ice cream. And I go ahead and put these iced tea drinks on each of the tables as well. So your Sims can make up some drinks why they are waiting for their food and whatnot very 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 much for that and jade um but yeah and as always with my commercial lots i try to think about safety and um, so i put in a sprinkler system everywhere and um, smoke alarms all of that kind of good stuff you don't want to uh you know get towed off by the council or something or not having all of the right 
safety equipment. <laughs> now, anyway, we're in the hotel lobby. So this is the actual lobby area. I go for a very muted, bright vibe in here. Little tiny like hints of color here and there, like the pink on the table and on the cushions, the soft blushy pinks. I just, I, I still wanted to keep this very light and mod very modern feeling, but again, still having that art deco edge to it that I really wanted in here. And I just have this as a big seating area with the reception desk and also a nice grand piano over in the corner as well. You can imagine them coming in here into the aircon, sitting down, having a cocktail from the bar. Um, do you know what I mean? Those kind of vibes. And yeah, I was very much for it. I actually do like those chairs. I didn't think I liked them. I thought they were just a little bit too cartoonish, but I think they suit the vibe of this hotel really well. Um, so I ended up using them. And I go for the same matching sofas up in the bedrooms as well. But yeah, we will see that a little bit on, a little bit later on. And I only show you how I furnish one of the hotel rooms and the penthouse suite. Because the other one was very similar. It was just in gold accents. I was like, there's no point in me recording this. But you will see it in the video tour at the end. Um, so yeah, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Do you know what I mean? Uh, love this grand piano as well. This is from my wedding stories. I just thought it looked great in here with the flowers. And yeah, just vibing. All around vibing. I actually end up putting some curtains up on those windows as well. I go for the curtains from the Desert Lux pack. Um, but yeah. And I had fun using these uh, dresses from the high school pack. I just liked the soft pinks and greens that I end up using from Dream Home Decorator on the actual reception desk here. That lovely sagey green with the pinks. I just think it gives me that Art Deco vibe that I'm very much for. Um, well, sort of, sort of for. I'm not like massively for it. Um, ignore those bar stores as well. I end up changing them out and going a little bit more muted with them and um, with the whites. And I was like, this is quite a big open space here. We can put some sofas. So I put those lovely sofas from, oh, I kind of remember where they're from. They're from the Pastel Pop Pack. I think they are. Um, yeah end up using them. That's probably the only thing I end up, I really use from that pack. That pack is, it's, it was well executed. It's just not for me, not for me in the slightest. Um, this so into one of the rooms. So as I said, this one's very white and stark and I go for a little hint of blue here and there. Um, probably just on those cushions to be honest with you, <laughs> but this is very light and this is exactly the same layout as what I use upstairs in the other um, hotel room as well but they all very they're all very much a boutique suite so they've all got like um dining tables they've all got a little living room they've got their bedroom and they've got their bathroom with a balcony as well so very nice indeed and as i said the views from here were smashing they really were oh they've all got a little mini bar in here as well i thought it was a hotel it kind of fit in with the theme um so that's what i did that's what i did and i end up lo loving those ghost chairs i use those ghost chairs quite a bit throughout um this whole build including it in the rooms um uh, i do mix it up in the other hotel room but um yeah anyway that was a shit sentence We're moving on into the bedroom again getting in those art deco vibes this bed like oh, like looks straight out to the bifold doors and you see the ocean from the bed like i'm one of these builders that make sure that you're getting in all the views depending on what lot you're putting it on um i should be more specific about what lots i put my builds on <laughs> to be honest with you because I tend to 100% of the time build my house or whatever I'm building for that particular lot. Um, but yeah, this is the 50 by 41. It's where the lounge is in um, Tartosa. So right on the seafront. Very nice indeed. I only show you how I furnish one of the um, balconies as well because I practically kept them all the same apart from the penthouse where I actually put in a little hot tub too. But very nice indeed. So this is the penthouse. You can see that I wanted this one to be a bit more open plan and not separated off like the other little boutique rooms were. So I end up um, having this separating like the bedroom off using a screen and stuff. And I go for a much darker aesthetic in here, but still keeping some light accents, especially with the floor and stuff. I wanted to keep that white marble floor all throughout this build. Um, but yeah, very much for it indeed. I can't remember if I showed you furnishing a bathroom. Did that, was that clip even in there? Well, probably not. Knowing me, it was a bathroom and I was bored, do you know? So I'm sorry about that, but you will see it in the video tour anyway at the end. So you're going to be fine. Don't worry about it. You'll be absolutely fine. There are three bathrooms, four bathrooms. There's an outdoor bathroom as well. Didn't show you how I furnished that one. That one is just off from where the outdoor kitchen is. 
there is a bathroom so if your sims are down um like by the pool and stuff they can use that bathroom oh i i tend to think of everything me tend to think of everything loves i really do <laughs> <laughs> anyway, wanted a desk for the penthouse suite, so I end up putting in a little desk. There's a fireplace in each of the rooms as well. Doesn't necessarily make sense to me having them um, on in this particular like lot because of the climate that it would be. But you never know. In the winter, if people come in and stay in here, could get a little chilly. So I do end up putting fireplaces all throughout in each of the boutique boutique suites, my loves. Yes, I do indeed. Anyway, so this is the final part. This is the bathroom. Um, I'd show you the penthouse bathroom, but I make this into a bit of a dressing room slash bathroom. The other boutique, um, I keep saying boutique hotel rooms, just say hotel rooms. They don't stop trying to sound all posh, thank you. I end up putting in just separate bathrooms because they've already got their separate bedrooms, but I kind of wanted like a little dressing room moment in this room. So that's what I end up doing. And I had to play around with the layout of this a little bit off of camera as well. So you'll, it may look a little bit different in the video tour at the end. If I do film this um, toilet, I can't remember if I actually did or not. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to say goodbye now. So I will be back tomorrow, my darlings, with a little starter home. Um specific starter home to a specific world you'll, you'll know more tomorrow and as i said i am live on twitch tonight 7 p.m gmt building a high school in the sims so if you do want to come along and join me but if not i'll see you all tomorrow good bye